Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Screenplex Century and welcome to the first video in my MacBook Pro upgrade series. So this is my late 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro with Intel Core i7 quad core processor at 2.2 GHz. And so today we're gonna upgrade the RAM from the stock 4 GB configuration up to 16 GB provided by Kingston. So let's get started after the intro. So to start off, you're gonna flip over the Mac Pro. Definitely make sure to have some kind of soft surface so that you're not scratching the lid of your MacBook Pro. Then we need a special screwdriver, in this case a two millimeter Phillips screwdriver. And I just bought a set on Amazon for I believe 10 bucks. So I'll definitely leave a link in the description below, but you can just get the screwdriver wherever you want. Then we have to pull out those 11 screws and I should highly recommend to really put them exactly where you pull them out because they are in different sizes so that you know where which screw belongs. Here we see the two modules, eight gigabyte each DDR3 memory from Kingston. And then we're gonna try to pull off the bottom lid of the MacBook Pro. It was kind of tricky in my situation. It was a little bit sticky towards uh, the rest of the MacBook Pro, but here we have it lifted off. And then we see the inside of the bottom case. And so we're gonna put this to the side and there we already see the RAM. Now there are two flaps on both sides and you have to pull them apart and then you can just pull out the memory. So this is a two gigabyte module that came standard in the MacBook Pro. And then below we actually see the second module. So it's the same story right here. It was a little bit tricky, especially from that angle. But now if we pull those flaps to the side again, then we should be good to go and also get the second element or the second stick of this RAM out of there. And so again, I think this is Hynix RAM in this case. And so we have the three and four gigabytes out of there. So now it's the time to really get out the Kingston memory and to already put eight gigabytes in there and then continue with the second eight gigabyte stick. One thing that you definitely should make sure is that you don't have any electric charge on your body or on your clothes because that might damage or even destroy the RAM. So here we have the first module and it's kind of tricky to find the right angle. I assume if you have a different position in front of the laptop, um, then it should probably be easier. But from the position that I did, it was pretty tricky. And I actually thought that I had it all the way in and that it was really in the correct position as you'll see in a second right here. But then it actually turned out that it wasn't. So I actually have to pull it out again in a few seconds or actually have to stick it further into the connector so that it really works. And so it's kind of tricky to find like the right balance between not damaging your MacBook Pro and getting it fitted in properly, especially at a weird angle. But so now this clicks down below and so we see that the first module is in there correct. And here we have the second eight gigabyte module. And this was actually a little bit easier because it was just on top and you could really see the connectors where you have to put it in. So I think we should have it there in a second and then it also clicks in on the side so that it can't go anywhere and that you're good to go. And so here we have it and now we're just going to take the bottom shell again, put all those screws back in there and then we're already pretty much done. So this also wraps up the video and I want to get, say a big, big thanks to Kingston for providing these 16 gigabytes of RAM. I can already tell you from just using the MacBook Pro a little bit. This is absolutely amazing now, a huge improvement. And here we also see in the system report that we now have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, see you next time.